Nothing happens except by the power of Allah and the decree of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permit whatever he permits subhanahu wa ta'ala for a reason. And one of the reasons or one of the wisdom behind this is that he tests the believers. He tests the believers whether they will be firm and steadfast upon the deen of Allah or they would seek the pleasure of the human beings and not the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And as we heard before the salah from the words of Ibn Rajab rahimahullah about tahqiq la ilaha illallah to establish la ilaha illallah and that is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the fear of Allah, the hope for the rewards from Allah and so on occupies the heart. That the person doesn't see with his heart the human beings. He deals with them. But his heart is attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. The obedience, the love, the fear, the hope is all only as a worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And for us to establish this is to seek help from Allah and to always revive and renew our iman by following the Prophet والسلام, and the Sahaba radiallahu anhum and the tabi'een and tabi'i tabi'een. This deen was perfected in speech and actions. So it's always principles that never fails. So we always have to make sure that we revive this way of understanding the deen and to spread in our majalis and our gatherings the, of course, the ayat of the Qur'an, the hadith of the Prophet والسلام, the statements of the Sahaba, what Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, what Abdullah ibn Abbas said, in many different things, so that we even uh, make our children and our families always attached to the best generation ever brought to mankind. This is what we learn from them, uh, and this is how they understood the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And following what Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he said, من كان مستنا فليستن بمن قد مات فإن الحي لا تؤمن عليه الفتنة Whoever wants to follow, follow those who passed away Because those who are alive, fitna can never be, they can never be safe from it Every, Everything is changing May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and keep us firm upon the deen So we, we, we follow them because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with them And this is in matters of our belief, in matters of our ibadah, in matters of our akhlaq and to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that changes the hearts. And, and part of that is like the, the awrad when we were talking about to have a weird on a daily basis of reciting Quran, even if it's a verse a day, even if it's few verses a day, whatever a person has the capacity of and learning every day, the same thing with the, with the deen of Islam, to learn, to make sure that we have the ilm which is necessary for every Muslim. And the ilm that is mandatory upon every Muslim changes over time. Is that true? Yes. There is the mandatory knowledge upon, upon every Muslim to know his creed, of course, his matters of belief, and how to make salah, how to make wudu, tahara, and if he goes for hajj, he knows how to make hajj. This is mandatory ilm. But then you add to it, which can change us from one time to the other, the environment that a person is in. So if he chooses to be in an environment or he doesn't choose, whatever, he's in a place or an area where there is certain doubts are being spread, certain evil and deviant beliefs are being spread and he cannot protect his ears and eyes and life from it and it reaches him, he gets to hear it, he gets to see it then he cannot just say, well, it's not a mandatory knowledge for me to protect myself from this no, you have then, it happened, it already reached you so you have to push that away with the ilm so that means, requires for the person to have more and more uh, with regards to the knowledge of the deen of Islam to protect himself, to protect his family, his children, which is a responsibility that we need to keep them with their pure fitrah, their pure nature that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them with and to take the means and to seek help from Allah. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us steadfast upon the deen of Allah and upon the sunnah of the Prophet والسلام, and to keep us firm till we return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in such a state.